success at the card show. Yeah. <laughs> Salute to Hoops, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, another video, and another day in this crazy hobby, which seems to have gotten crazier over the past week and a half or so uh, with the release of Prism. As you guys saw prior, the clip prior, uh, me and my girlfriend went to the card show yesterday. Uh, every first Saturday of the month we go, pretty much, if we can make it. And uh, prices are uh, pretty pretty insane, I must say, right now. Usually I go there, uh, look for some deals, look for some like uh, investment cards type deal. And, <clears throat> excuse me, it seems just like... Uh, the hobby has just exploded to a point where uh, inflation has really kind of crept in and uh, the market is just bloated, I guess would be the correct terminology to use for that. Um, I did get a couple cards here, so we'll go over the cards that I got. U usually I get more, but like I said, uh, the prices are just outrageous. Uh, as you saw in the video, uh, that Brian Scalbreen uh, autograph, the guy wanted 30 bucks for it for whatever reason. Uh, I realize Brian Scalbreen is the GOAT, but uh, definitely not paying 30 bucks uh, for a Brian Scalbreen sticker auto. Or his auto in general, really, but it would have been a nice thing to have. He was a former bull, which is the reason why I kind of wanted it. But like I said, not paying 30 bucks for that. Uh, there was a Ricky Davis uh autograph as well i think it was nba hoops that the same the same guy was selling and he wanted like 20 bucks for it uh which i'm definitely not paying <laughs> paying 20 bucks for ricky davis autograph uh it's like five dollars max to be honest with you so uh wasn't able to get a lot like i said because just the prices on like especially the newer guys uh even just like these basic don rated rookies uh were just a little out of the realm of reality so we'll go over what i got there guys but uh like i said i didn't get as much as i typically do i just think that the hobby right now is in a spot where it, it's just a little dangerous uh to be investing because uh, a lot of the cards are really really overpriced uh given the i get i guess the recent release of prism is what kind of did it but uh, I'm not. I'm not really interested in paying. Uh, I'll pay a fair price for sure, uh, but you know, ten bucks for Emmanuel quickly uh, hoops or sorry, not hoops. Uh, Don uh, rated rookie cards, just bases, are uh, kind of out of touch with reality, at least in my opinion. So we'll go over uh, the cards I got, guys, and then I was able to get some uh, Don Russ fat packs there. Uh, we were there towards the end, uh, about two hours left, or hour and a half. So I actually got six of these for, I made a deal for a hundred bucks. So essentially uh, maybe 18 bucks a pop, which I could live with. So we'll rip those and see what we got. And hopefully there's something worth our while. We did get six packs. Me, my, me and my girlfriend ripped four of them already uh, because it's been a while since we really ripped anything or really able to get a hold of retail. So Stuck paying the uh, aftermarket prices, but I can deal with 18 bucks a pack. So, first up on deck, guys, I got some Josh Green uh, Raider rookies here. Uh, guy had like some Ty Tyrese Halliburton's and stuff like that, but just wanted way too much for him. So, I was able to get these for two bucks each. And then I got the uh, green, I don't know what this parallel is, Pulsar maybe, not Pulsar, but uh, whatever the, the green parallel is uh, in Donruss. Uh, uh, just regulars. Uh, I think I got this for four bucks. So, um, I really would have. I think on like a normal day, these are like fifty. These would probably be like fifty cents each. To be honest with you, Josh Green's. I mean, nothing too special. It's not like he's, you know, in the realm of, you know, rookie of the year or anything like that, or runner up or really anything like that. But I've seen the guy play before, and I really like his game. So. Uh, I could I could live with two bucks each for these for sure, with the the green parallel there. Not a problem with me at all. Uh, the next ones, guys. Uh, these were in like a 
uh, four for four, four for ten dollar type deal to, in bin. So uh, sorted through that and was able to find a little bit there. Picked up these Troy Brown uh, Prism rookies and Troy Brown Jr. Excuse me, and I really picked him up only because he recently was acquired by the Chicago Bulls, and uh, I really like the kid, so uh, I could live with that as well. And then the next ones are going to be these Jordan uh, Nuora Certifieds. These were listed as four bucks each, but like I said, they were four for ten. And uh, I, lo I love these like 2020 graffiti ones from Certified. So, and he's he's a uh, he's a, a Milwaukee Buck, my second favorite team, I guess you could say, uh, aside from the Chicago Bulls being my first. So. Figured, you know, why not? I got to pick up some sort of rookies here, and I think these might have been a, a solid deal. Seen the kid play before as well. The Bucks are kind of in a weird spot too with, you know, the players that they have on the team. Uh, but from what I've seen for Jordan Nora, really like the kid also. So a little investment opportunity. Was able to do a little bit of investing, but not as much as I typically do. Also in there was this Mark Aguirre, uh, Mass National Treasures. Uh, ignore the blue tape on there uh, but this is 71 out of 99 and uh, it's got the little patch on there i really like the patches uh, and i don't think i have a mark aguire a little bit random uh, but still a cool card nonetheless national treasures we'll take that all day uh, these are able to get a deal on all these as well these were when i first walked in uh, this Dominique Wilkins masterpieces from Court Kings. This is also numbered out of two ninety nine. A little patch there as well. Five bucks. Uh, Dominique Wilkins legend. So I could deal with five bucks as well. Paying that. Donovan Mitchell cornerstones out of one thirty nine. This is number six out of one thirty nine for six bucks. I figured if the uh, you know if the Jazz continue to do well, uh, they're definitely going to the playoffs and. I know they're kind of a contender, but uh, now that the the Brooklyn Nets are a, a powerhouse, I don't know if they'll win a championship, but I figure for six bucks, this Donovan Mitchell wasn't bad also. Probably overpaid for this. Lucas Simonic, uh Silver Prism, Ricky for select, 10 bucks. Not really what I really wanted to pay for it, but you guys know that I'm a Lucas Simonic fan. Been performing pretty well with the playing time he's been getting also down in, De in uh, not Dallas, excuse me, in San Antonio. And probably, you know, I don't know about 10 bucks for it, but we'll see, you know. <laughs> we'll see about that. I, I don't have any uh, silver pr prisms of him, so I figured I, I could add one of the collection. So I'm not, I'm not too, too concerned about paying the 10 bucks for it. Super young player, got a lot to do in the league, a lot of time to develop, so you never know. I'll, I'll take the 10 bucks. If it's a loss, it's a loss, but moving on, guys, we're going to go ahead and rip two of these packs of Donruss here, and uh, hopefully we got something good, so nice little video for you guys here. Jonas Valanciunas, Josh Jackson, Jordan Clarkson, Clay Thompson, we got Dante DiVincenzo. Westbrook, Chris Paul, and that Thunder jersey still, okay. Dorian Finney-Smith, uh, Bojan Bogdanovich, Brooke Lopez, Doug McDermott, Miles Turner, Mike Conley, Paul Millsap, Mark Gasol, little John Morant, we'll take that second year for sure. Landry Schmidt, another Bogdanovich, Buddy Heald, Gordon Hayward, Oh, what do we got here? Grant Riller. Okay. Not the Hornet that we want. That is for sure. But we'll uh, we'll take an auto out of the deal. So Grant Riller, auto. RJ Barrett, franchise features. Ben Simmons, fantasy stars. Donovan Mitchell. Okay. Boom. Xavier Tillman, rated rookie. Desmond Bain, Emmanuel Quickly. Zeke Naji and Sadiq Bey. All right. Not a bad pack, like I said. Not the Hornet that we really want, Grant Riller, but we'll take what we can get, I suppose. Moving on to the next pack. 
All right, we got Trevor Ariza, a lot of base in here, guys. Duante Murray, Dwight Powell, Anthony Simons, Terry Rozier, Vucevic, newest Chicago Bull, love it. Langston Galloway, Fultz, Markell, CJ McCollum, John Wall, Jokic, Bertans, Miles Turner, Mike Conley, Paul Millsap, Marcus Soul, Derek Jones Jr., AD, Malik Beasley, Wendell Carter, Jarrett Allen, Lonnie Walker, and did we get another auto out of this, maybe? We did not, no, okay. Just a troll. Vucevic, we'll take that. Expectations, Tyrese Maxey, Xavier Tillman, all right. Cassius Winston, Nick Richards, Trey Jones, Daniel Oturo, and Jaden McDaniels. All right. All right, so no real top rookies with that one, guys. We'll just go over these hits real quick here, and then that'll kind of be it. So we got Jaden McDaniels, Daniel Oturo, Trey Jones, Nick Richards, Cassius Winston, Xavier Tillman, Tyrese Maxey, Grant Riller Auto. Troll for sure, but we'll take it. Sadiq, Zeke Naji, Emmanuel Quickly, Desmond Bain, Xavier Tillman, Donnie Mitch, RJ, and then the second year, John Morant. So, not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. A lot going on in this one, guys. Little triple feature here, if you will. So, boom. Got a, got a few videos coming up. Some other products coming in, guys. With uh, like I said, I have to buy on the resale market, which uh, isn't too bad, but we're probably going to have to wait for some prism to at least go down in price before I get that. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for the support.